All right, thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. Heading through the 10 o'clock hour, we're looking uh, from the view of the home of economy location in Devil's Lake as we have some dark clouds. This is off to the west, but most of the rough and tumble storms are along the international border. More on them in a second. Let's all be prepared for the heat like we have today to be combined with humidity. And when that returns tomorrow, we're going to have some heat indices in a few locations that will be close to 100 degrees. Temperatures won't be far from 100 degrees for your Friday. As we endure heat, we will also have, with that increased humidity, fuel for thunderstorms that could bring all modes of severe weather and much more widespread than the activity that we've seen tonight. That is why tomorrow has been declared a first alert weather day. 70s out in Bemidji and in Thief River Falls, 73 Minot and 76 for Devil's Lake. Grand Forks 77, low 80s here in the Southern Valley, still 85 in Sisseton at this hour. So we take a look at that satellite and radar. You can just notice the lightning that's been persistent for the last several hours out there, not far from Brainerd. A couple of storms rumbling along the international border, some storms in central South Dakota meandering their way across the prairie there. Uh, a look in our area near Langdon, just north of you, we have a storm capable of some hail that could be approaching maybe close to one inch diameter. We'll see. It is working its way right along the border, and right now it's slowly working its way east southeast, just a little bend to the south. And if you're in Rock Lake, you have a little cell there that's not severe to the northeast of you. This is where things have been happening tonight. A lot of lightning with these. And here's the Ottertail County stuff, but Ottertail County just dropped from the thunderstorm watch. Those storms really fizzling out with most of the energy and support for our storms tonight just off to the east. Now, as you take a look here, we do have this persistent area of rain. And look at this, hail tracks. Hail tracks for the last three hours from south of Brainerd. One to two inch diameter hail falling almost continually from that cluster of thunderstorms along with heavy rain has prompted flash flood warnings from Brainerd and points south as upwards of five inches of rain have been estimated by Doppler radar there. So we've got a couple of areas of interest overnight and we'll walk through that in your hour by hour forecast. But for tomorrow, the main event tomorrow afternoon and evening, we have all of our counties with a risk for severe weather. Now, just because the icon says flooding here doesn't mean that's where the flooding will be, but all of these areas in yellow have a chance of some flooding. We have 70 mile per hour gust potential, hail to around two inches, maybe a little greater in uh, the diameter, and isolated tornadoes as those storms get formed is when the tornado threat will be at its greatest and they'll form out to the west. Let's get through tonight, shall we, in your hour by hour forecast down to the south. The, Activity we have going on here near Brainerd will be shipping southward now, while the stuff in South Dakota kind of works its way along the border. Many of us will stay quiet and we will continue to have hit and miss showers and storms along the international border. The risk for severe weather overnight is not great, but we'll monitor it for you and have your weather app handy. Now, as we go towards morning, say about 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., we could see some showers and thunderstorms here in the Southern Valley, as we talked about a little earlier tonight. Temperatures near 70 to get your day going. That's pretty warm. Those showers to the south will exit, leaving us with south winds and the humidity arrives. So not only will we have the 80s and 90s tomorrow, we will have the humid air joining us. That's going to fuel these thunderstorms. Notice how widespread they are. It does look like the risk for severe will be in eastern North Dakota in the afternoon and evening, moving into the valley as we go toward the 8 to 10 o'clock hour. That's when Fargo, Grand Forks, and uh, northwest Minnesota will have the greatest chance. As we get into dark time, wind and, well, hail will be the main threat from these storms. So it's straight line winds and hail. And as we go through the late night hours, look at this thing become kind of a solid line of potential thunderstorms still with wind threat even into the late night hours before it finally exits well after midnight. Then after that, we enjoy some refreshing cool. 68 in Fargo in the morning, we'll see temperatures rising into the low to mid 90s, heat indices near 100 degrees for your day. Best chance of thunderstorms as we went over, it's going to be after six and likely closer to that eight o'clock time frame in Fargo and in Grand Forks. We'll keep you posted. Christy, thanks for your lovely photo here. Hot, humid, and stormy tomorrow. After that, we cool off into the 70s. It'll be breezy for the weekend, but comfortable to get out and do some outdoor playing. The uh, summer light heat returns next week with thunderstorm chances as well. Yeah, tomorrow's the pool and lake day. The weekend's just to get outside and enjoy it or exactly. maybe do some yard work day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks. thanks.